Hello again. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm really glad you guys are here. Um, I did a video yesterday and I said I was going to do a video today regarding um, Poshmark. As I said in my video yesterday, which I'd love to link down below, except I don't know how to do that yet. So if you just look for my name in the title, um, yesterday's video, I was reviewing the Loewe Mini Gate in the light caramel, the top handle. Um, so you could check it out. I'll put it in the comments below. Um, I'm, I'm still learning how to use, you know, everything. My lighting isn't that great. I'm also bouncing around my house to see where the best lighting is. I have um, a laptop. I have a phone. It's not very updated. And I have a ring light now, which, you know, I got a $25 ring light. So I don't know if it's, you know, if it's working out well for me. Um, the coloring, I, I thought I had more makeup on, but apparently it doesn't um, appear like that in the video. Anyway, I'm doing this video because I sell on Poshmark. I'm not sure, a little over a year maybe. I sell on Poshmark. I definitely buy things on Poshmark. And I haven't had any um, negative issues. Um, most of the stuff I sell is... Um, under $500, I sell a few bags, I've sold a few bags, and I um, recently just sold um, a more expensive above $500 bag. Um, Poshmark's policy is anything over $500, I'm, I'm bouncing you around, I have to stop leaning on the table, I'm sorry. Anything over $500 gets free authentication. I don't know if it's always been like that, but since I started Poshmark, it's been like that. $500 or more, it gets free authentication. It says that on the actual listing. Anything you look at in anyone's closet, if it's over $500, it will say in purple, free authentication, um, which I think is gives people peace of mind, just like Fashion File authenticates, eBay now authenticates. Um, so, you know, they're, everyone's competing and people want to keep their customers and they want to make sure that they're not selling um, fakes, obviously. Like I said in one of my previous videos, I don't buy pre-owned um, handbags often. Um, I just, my first pre-owned handbag, I don't know if it was actually pre-owned because it was new with tags, um, was from Fashion File, the Louis Vuitton. Um, that was my first, and I decided to buy another bag on Poshmark um, just recently, um, like a week or so ago. Um, it's also a new with tags bag. Just like I did the video on the Loewe mini gate, I bought the Loewe mini top handle gate in icy pink off of Poshmark. I have it here with me. I'm not doing a review on the bag. I'm going to show you the bag, but I just wanted to um, have it with me because this video is basically talking about Poshmark and how they're not um, uh, they're not upholding their own policy. Um, in any case, very quickly, I made this purchase from the seller, which shall remain nameless. Um, the seller had a good amount of sales. I believe she was on Poshmark maybe three years. She had a fair amount of sales, a nice amount of listings, um, good communication, um, good reviews, good ratings. Um, she had this beautiful Loewe uh, mini gate top handle new with tags in icy pink and i've been looking at that for 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 months even before i bought the mini gate in the caramel color i was looking at the icy pink but i said you know what how often am i going to grab for that bag maybe it'll just be seasonal i don't know i'm not sure if i feel comfortable yet wearing pink in the winter which i'm going to do but in any case so i said you know what i keep looking at it she had it for a decent price Usually on Poshmark, you try to negotiate, you make offers, whatever. So I decided to take the plunge and I purchased it. We came to an agreement with the amount of money. I got a very good deal and I pushed the um, offer button. She accepted. Now the bag is going to come to me. The bag is way over $500. So of course, on the listing, it says free authentication. I even clicked on the part where it says authentication, just to read. And it says anything over 500 will be authenticated by Poshmark, and then it'll be sent to the buyer. 
um, after it's authenticated. Um, it says free for a limited time, but the date says 3-31-2022. So we're still within the right, you know, even if they wanted to change their policy, we're still within the time frame because it's not the end of March yet. It's not 3-31-2022 yet. Um, so with confidence, the bag is coming to me. And the seller commented in her comment section that I'm going to get it quickly. It doesn't have to be authenticated. I'm send, sending it to you directly because I have um, a long history of having things authenticated. So I don't have to have that done. So right away, I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute. That kind of doesn't make sense to me. Uh, you know, just because you have a long history doesn't mean this won't be the first time you're passing off a fake bag. This is what I'm saying in my mind. I didn't write that. I wasn't going to insult anybody. Um, so I emailed Poshmark. Um, by the way, Poshmark has no phone numbers. You cannot speak to a human. You cannot make a phone call. Um, all you can do is email them on their site in the support section. Um, so I emailed them and the general email back comes saying, you know, thank you um, for reaching out and our team will evaluate and get back to you. So I inquired about that whole, what do you mean I'm not having this bag authenticated? I got an email that said she has a good, and I quote, quote, track record. So therefore, your bag is protected through our policy, but it will be sent to you directly. And I'm like, okay, well, who's responsible now if I get this bag and I think there's, you know, I'm not 100% sure about it. You know, and the email then continued to say, if you have an issue and it's not as described, you can click on problem with, you know, or inquiry. And within three days, we will determine if we'll give you a virtual authentication. Now, if you listen to my other video, or if you, you don't know me, but I'll tell you, I'm not big on virtual authentications. Um, I think the person needs to actually have it up close and personal, touch it, feel it, lick it, smell it, whatever. I don't think and I know everyone does, and it's perfectly fine. This is my personal opinion. I know people do photo authentications, virtual authentications, pay money for that. I have a little bit of a problem with that because I feel like you really got to look at stitching. You got to touch it. You got to feel it. You got to, you know, the weight of the hardware. To me, there's a lot more involved than just looking at a picture up close. In any case, but that's what they said. So I let it be. The seller uploaded a picture of her um, receipt from Neiman Marcus. I felt confident that this is authentic. I really, I really did. In my heart, I believe this is authentic. Um, I'm going to show you the bag. Um, she packed it very well packed in bubble um, packing, in plastic, in tissue paper. And she sent me um, a copy with a little heart. It said, thank you. I hope you love your bag. This is a copy of her receipt, supposedly, from Neiman Marcus. She purchased the bag in 2020. That's fine. No issue. I appreciate it. The bag, you know, came in its dust bag, the Loewe dust bag. It's absolutely stunning. I'm, I'm not going to, you know, say different. Here's the bag. It's in icy pink. I'm not going to review it. I'm not going to discuss what it has. If you want to look at my other video that I did yesterday, um, the same exact bag in caramel color, the light caramel, and I went more into detail about its measurements and everything. I'm not going to do that. This video is more about Poshmark not doing the right thing. Um, but this is the bag. I don't know how it looks, you know, the color, you know, it's not really doing it justice. It's really like a very, very soft, soft baby pink. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. It's a beautiful bag. I put it up against my other bag, the same exact bag, myself, and went stitch by stitch, um, 
inch by inch everything and it to me but i'm no expert to me i think this bag is authentic feels authentic smells authentic every inch of the bag to me looks the way it's supposed to look again i'm not an expert and i know there are super fakes out there that even probably someone at the Loewe store wouldn't know is fake in any case so this is the bag it's absolutely gorgeous it's in perfect condition let me just set it down over there it's in perfect condition i have no issue with the seller um i, I think she's very nice she had great communication with me she you know she said how can i assist you should have thought about it before you know purchasing i didn't um pol the policy Posh poshmark has is everything over 500 gets authenticated i went in other people's closets i just started to surf poshmark looking for oh she's also i'm sorry she's also a posh ambassador which gives her a little bit more credit so I went and I searched other closets and I started asking other sellers that are selling high-end luxury bags for more than 500, posh ambassadors that have been doing this for years. Do they ever hear that you don't have to have something authenticated because you have a good track record? So it's just going to go right to the buyer with no authentication process. Every single one of them said, no, they never heard of that. I wrote this to the seller i said it has nothing to do with you personally and i feel bad for her because this is you know this bag was uh, eleven hundred dollars and she's waiting to get her money and i said you know this is totally the responsibility of poshmark they offer the free authentication and they did not say in the listing this person has a good track record therefore her items over 500 will not be authenticated give the seller a chance to decide if they want to continue with the sale and and make the purchase they didn't say that so they are misrepresenting the listing and it's false advertising they are not responding to my emails now since wednesday i have sent about three including on the sale page on my purchase page where it says accept the purchase or problem with an order i clicked problem with an order i did this yesterday morning and i wrote again it brought me to their email and i wrote again there is nothing wrong with this bag as far as the condition it is perfect it is beautiful but what do i know i'm not an expert i don't authenticate that's not my forte it is your responsibility to make sure that i have confidence that this is a bag that's authentic it's your responsibility as poshmark to uphold your policy that's written on the listing please tell me in the comments am i wrong am i being unreasonable i don't want to return the bag i love the bag i think personally it's authentic but again i'm not an expert um i have every feeling that it is but again, I'm not an expert. She may have a great track record. That doesn't mean everything she sells is going to be on the up and up. I'd like to believe that. But again, this is a very crazy world. And, you know, just people do things. And, and you just, if I go to sell this bag in two years, three years down the road, and somebody deems this fake, Who's going to be held responsible? Am I going to go back to Poshmark and say, hey, this bag that you didn't authenticate three years ago, where I have no written proof from you that it's authentic, is deemed fake, and I'm trying to sell it, and they're going to say, not our problem, not our problem, correct? So please tell me what you think. Write in the comments. Please like my video cast the video on um again i have had no issues with poshmark up until now they're not responding to my emails this is unfair to the seller who's waiting for her money it's unfair to me because i would like to have confidence and something um written from them 
saying that they are responsible and take full responsibility if this bag at any time is going to be deemed fake. Please correct me if I am wrong. Let me know down below if you ever heard of Poshmark not authenticating something over 500 just because the seller has a great track record and makes a lot of sales. Um, let me know what you think. Um, again, I just want to mention, um, I should have mentioned this in the beginning, my videos are basically going to be about luxury, all things in Cammy's closet, might not necessarily be a handbag, I collect a lot of crap, um, I wouldn't say I'm a hoarder, but I, I like things, I like pretty things, so you know, I might uh, one day do uh, a bag charm uh, video, a collection, or I might do my Swarovski collection, if I'm even pronouncing that right, I always have an issue with that word. Um, uh, I have a lot of things tucked away in my closet, so I'll be bringing stuff out. Please give me thumbs up, subscribe, ring the little bell, and again, tell me what you think about Poshmark and what I'm going through. Should I return the bag? Should I make a bigger stink? Or should I just leave it alone and go with my gut that it's probably authentic and then worry all the time that there might be an issue, you know, years to come. So again, thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it. I appreciate you watching and I appreciate you spreading the word about my videos. Have a great day.